Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today, well, it's Friday. What are we doing? We're doing Marvel Champions. And today, I'm not with my normal man, Terrence. I'm here with Mike. What's up, Mike? Yeah, you, you've traded uh, expertise and an incredible amount of knowledge for idiocy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, for those of you who don't know, Mike is the main host on our main YouTube channel. So, One Stop Co-op Shop, not the streamed. The main channel um mike does a lot of the videos over there he does all of the reviews over there so he played this game but he played this game when there was literally just the base set out he i mean we've played a couple times since then but not really in ideal situations i would say oh yeah i, I gave my base set to you not because i didn't like the game but because you loved it which i'm happy to happy to help you out with that <laughs> Right. Um, and then Peter has been buying all the expansions, but yeah, I just, my schedule is so tough. It's tough for me to play any game consistently. Well, and I mean, you guys probably know, and you've probably seen since you see me here every week that I do love this game. So what are we doing? We're doing, I asked Mike what he wanted to play and he said, uh, Dr. Strange. And I said, okay, Dr. Strange is super good. So, uh, <laughs> that's good. It's, it's a good place to reintroduce yourself to the game. For sure, although it's got a little bit of complexity to it. And I said, you know what? Let's do Scarlet Witch with Doctor Strange because I think it's fun to have, like, combos. And so this is, like, the magic combo here. And we decided, because Mike hasn't played any campaign yet, not that we're going to play through the whole campaign, but we are going to go with Drang. Oh, by the way, I set him as expert. And I know we said we weren't going to do expert. Do you want me to make it not expert? I can do that quickly. If, if it's easy, I guess. I don't want to. Right. I mean, easy <laughs> being we reset everything. And now you guys can see how we. No, no, wait. Don't, don't do that. Nah, oh, too late. Done. Oh, man. I just hope it doesn't take forever for me to load. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. I Like the first time, it takes forever. You're already at 96%. All right. So for those who haven't played TTS before or haven't played this mod before, first of all, we always encourage you to buy the main game. Um, don't just play on TTS, but it's a good way to learn decks and things like that. Here you can change your spot um, just by clicking these buttons. And as you saw, we just loaded something new. We're going to come over here. I'm going to hit Scarlet Witch Constructed, and Mike's going to do the same thing for um, Doctor Strange. We're going to delete the decks that are there. And I'm going to go to our um, deck builders, and I'm going to get my Scarlet uh, Witch deck first. I just plug the number in here, paste it, pull it up. And as you can see, it's got everything set up for us. So this mod is amazing. It's by Pwn Star Hero. Um, I can leave the link in the notes, but if you look back at a lot of our videos, we've had the same link because many people have asked about this mod. It is a great tabletop simulator mod. Um, so we are now going to take Mike's deck and place that in Cerebro up here. Boink. We're gonna search for that deck and we're gonna build it. Cerebro. In. Cerebro, that's right. There's Even no though... X-Men in this... Uh... Yep, it is an X-Men reference here. And we're going to hit the uh, Galaxy's Most Wanted campaign to bring this information up. So that way we can read the cartoon intro to the mission. Um, and we're going to go over here. Do, 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 select our villain, who in this case is going to be Drang. We're gonna... Oh, I just hit expert again. Son of a gun. Remember how I said it was easy to do? I mean, dude, it's... It's fine. We're doing, we're doing expert at this point. Um, <laughs> so Badoon ship. We're going to win. I mean, you'll be <laughs> fine. I think it's Banda Badoon. Wait, let me see. Banda Badoon. All right. So, yep. Banda Badoon. And this is blame your friendly neighborhood, uh, Peter man who went to the, um, the pool tonight and saw a friend I haven't seen in a year since COVID started and, uh, drank like two beers and I'm already messing everything up. So there's that. All right, so we'll shuffle up their deck. We'll shuffle up my deck, shuffle up your deck. I'm gonna start with the Milano. So Mike, just so you know what the, the, the keys over here are, I mean, it tells you, take the lead, means I'm taking the first player token. U is ready, that untaps all of your cards. This is lookout, that brings an encounter card in front of you. And the X puts the encounter card to the discard pile. And that's it gotcha, gotcha. for the left side. Um, all right, so let's get into the theme here because we are getting into Galaxy's Most Wanted. We're playing it expert, even though I plan on playing it standard. I think it'll be okay for the first mission. If we go to the second mission, we'll play that one standard. Uh, do you want to read this or you want me to read it? 
Why don't you read it? Because I'm still loading, so I'm not sure what my voice will sound like. All right. Alpha Flight Station, Earth's orbit. Commander, we're under attack by the Badoon. We're sustaining heavy fire. Divert emergency power to the shields. I'm out. Uh, I'm headed out. There's too many of them. Send a distress signal. So this is uh, Captain Marvel over here, you know, trying to hold off things. And guess who shows up? The Guardians of the Galaxy. Or in this situation, the Mages of the Galaxy? Because we're uh, <laughs> Strange and Scarlet Witch. Uh, we better get paid for this, Quill. Alpha Flight, this is Star-Lord. The Guardians of the Galaxy are here to help. I am Groot. Right. So, uh, the Brotherhood of Badoon has mounted a surprise attack against Earth. You and the other Guardians of the Galaxy rush to Earth's aid, teaming up with the Mighty Avengers. And by the way, my deck is all Avengers themed, so teaming up with Mighty Avengers is appropriate here. In the process to beat back the Badoon. However, the Brotherhood of Badoon leader, Drang, is a skilled tactician with a fleet of powerful ships and an overwhelming number of soldiers at his side. This won't be an easy fight. All right. And no, it won't. The whole, by the way, Guardians of the Galaxy thing isn't easy. Now, did you get the ship? Oh, uh, yeah, I gave it to you already. Oh, good. All right, so this is Milano. So those of you who haven't played the campaign, um, Milano, the way that works, it's a permanent card, which means it starts in play, uh, and it moves with the first player marker. So Milano is going to switch back and forth between us. It says, piloting resource, exhaust the Milano, generate a star resource, which is any resource, uh, for any player. So... Uh, I can play this on Mike's turn or my turn. So it's uh, there's a little bit of simultaneous play in Marvel Champions, um, and that's one of the things. But in addition to that, uh, we can look over here. Drang's overwhelming forces have mounted a surprise attack against Earth. Force response after resolving step one of the villain phase. So in step one, we're going to add two threat to the scheme per player. So that's going to be four threat added every time. And once we get up to 16, no bueno, we're going to go to the next step. Um, but you can exhaust the Milano to remove three threat from the scheme. So the, it helps us. We can either get a resource from the Milano or use it for that. But also, after we do stage one of this, we have to charge up the Badoon ship here. So charge up says, special, place one barrage counter here. If there are four or more barrage counters here, deal two indirect damage to each player and remove all bar barrage cam uh, counters from here. So this will basically do two damage to um, split among the players as you want, but you can't overkill a character. So for example, if you have an ally with one health left, you couldn't put two damage on him. You'd have to split the damage up as evenly as, or not as evenly as possible. Because if somebody had zero damage on them, you could clearly put two on them. But um, basically indirect damage means you have to split it up. Oh, and guess what? Because this is a stage two Drang, when revealed, if Drang's spear is in play, give Drang one face down boost card. Well, it's not. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Drang's spear. Reveal it and shuffle the encounter deck. So he has a spear to start with. So we attach this to Drang. Drang gains stalwart. He cannot be stunned or confused, which is really bad because we have a lot of stunned and confusing effects. Um, hero action. We can spend a mental and two fist resources to discard this card. And it gives him plus one to his attack as well. So, yeah, we probably want to do that if we can. All right, so let's go ahead and draw up. If you remember, Mike, on the bottom is yeah. your hit points 10 and your hand size 6. So go ahead and draw your six cards. You can just draw I from I got them. Okay, and then you can take a mulligan. And actually, I need to change my team so we're on the same team so I can see your cards. All right, you can take I'm a mulligan. I'm assuming Strange has, like, some assets that stay in play, right? So none of these seem great to me. Um, choose a scheme. Remove three threat from the scheme. I mean, that's not terrible. Uh, I mean, Mockingbird's great, but not great when he has a spear that basically says you can't stun him. Um, <laughs> uh, power in all of us, of course, helps pay for Mockingbird, which is really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And is a wild resource. Uh, I mean, you do have two fists and a mental... So you could, yeah, I mean, we'd be, we would be able to get rid of the spear right away. All right, I mean, I, I can just could not get rid of the spear. Turn, spear. And it's a hero action. So as a reminder, actions can be done on any player's turn. So there is somewhat simultaneous play in Marvel Champions where you could do that action on my turn, even though I'm first player. Uh, anything that says action, you can do. Now, you can't flip your hero. You can't um, play cards that don't say action. But you can do anything that says action on my turn. So there is somewhat simultaneous play. 
All right. Well, for now, you know what? I'll keep my. I'll keep what I have, since I'll be spending most of it anyway. I'm sure. Well, yeah. So you could play this, this, this. Uh, Relentless Assault deal five damage to a minion. I mean, that's not useful right now, because um, there's no minions. All oh, right, but I mean, I don't want to accelerate my deck faster, so sure. Because this goes to your discard pile, right? So I mean, if, if I'm going to spend it on something, it doesn't really matter. And let's see, can I help? Can I pay a mental and two fists? I could, because I got Giant Man and Black Knight, which are both very expensive, and I can't afford them. And I could pay a Hex Bolt. Uh, so you know what? Don't worry about keeping your hand. If you don't like anything in your hand, di I mean, I think you had the right idea. Discard most of it. Uh, keep Mockingbird and Power in all of us. I would say, it, yep. if I had any suggestions, so that way you can stun them uh, to block. I'm gonna get rid of Astral Projection because Milano's already got some threat canceling cool all right all right so i am gonna start out and i am not am i really not gonna mulligan anything usually you mulligan a couple cards at least um but no i'm actually pretty happy because i'm gonna use genius to pay for hex bolt i'm gonna use my two allies along with one of the hex bolts to get rid of that and magic shield it's a good card, but like, I mean, I'm not going to be able to play it because I don't have the extra resources. Now, uh, my uh, action over here is discard two cards from your hand and then draw two cards or three instead if you have Piedro Maximoff in play. So if I had had my ally in play, we could also use Milano as an extra resource as well. Uh, so if we By the do... way, Peter, does Terrestrial Invasion start with any tokens? Isn't it four on there? Nope. Uh, well, yes, it's right here. Yep. Oh, I see it. Sorry, sorry. Two per player. It. Got it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so my turn. I'm going to go ahead and quickly get rid of Black Knight, get rid of Giant Man. They're great allies, but don't worry, they'll be back. Uh, and Hexbolt to get rid of this spear, because forget that, especially when you have a stun in your hand to start the game. And I'm going to do Hexbolt. So Hexbolt has a lot to do with... Oh, I'm sorry. I do need to flip over to do that. Um, and on this side, when boost icons uh, are flipped... I can actually reflip the card basically. So if I don't like whatever they boost, I can reflip it, but that's once per phase. So that means once on our turn and once on their turn. Um, nice. So, all right. So this says discard the top three cards in the encounter deck. So this is Scarlet Witch's main situation here. She does a lot of things to mess with the enemy deck and, and accelerate the enemy deck. So we're going to flip the top three cards of them, and based on how many boost icons are on them, I'm going to do a different thing based on that. So let's start. First one is two boost icons. So if I look down here, two boost icons means I get to draw a card. So I will draw a card. Guess what? I can now play a magic shield, so that seems good. Uh, and all for one's a great card, but not when I don't have allies. So that is a good one to get rid of. All right, so let's see what the next one is. The next one is one boost icon, which means I remove two threat from a scheme. Um, and if you look, one, remove two threat from a scheme. So go ahead and we'll do that. Remove two from the main scheme. And the last one is zero, zero, zero. No, two again, so I get to draw another card. All right, so that is my hex bolt. Let's see, is there anything better? Oh, Molecular Decay is pretty good, but that just means I will keep it in my hand. Deal five damage to an enemy and discard the top two cards of the encounter deck, and for each boost icon discarded this way. Oh, well, so here's the other thing. I could have chosen to redraw that last one if I didn't want to draw another card to see if I could have gotten something else, but I didn't, so I'm not going to. All right, so I am going to play all for one, and for that, I'm going to put a Magic Shield out, which means I can reduce three damage at some point from anybody. And I still have the Milano if you need extra resources, by the way. Um, so, oh, oh, and I get to do something. I have two thwart, one attack. I'm going to thwart for two, and we'll get that scheme down to zero. Nice. All right, Mikey, go for it. All right, well, I got, like, the worst possible card for somebody who's never played a character before. Um... Do you know off the top of your head what, like, a really good Doctor Strange permanent card is? Alter Ego Action. Search your deck and discard pile for a Doctor Strange card and add it to your hand. Shuffle your discard. Yeah, there's one that lets you play the Invocation um, without discarding it. So it lets you that play seems, it twice. That seems pretty good. Uh, and it's a zero cost as well. Hold on, I'm just uh, skimming through real quick. I don't remember the name of it. I was looking for anything it says it's an upgrade. I figure, you know, these games, it's, it's always good depth. Well, yeah, yeah. There, there probably are Oh, games. here we go. I, I'm getting Eye of Agamotto. 
I'm not even gonna look at anything else. Yep. <laughs> it's a free resource every turn <laughs> once I get it out. Oh Why yeah, <laughs> that's great. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so um sorry, to, I discarded dive bomb to pay for that. Yep. Um that is a hero resource, and I have nothing else that cares whether I'm Stephen Strange. I'm going to use uh, Stephen Strange's natural talent. Once per phase, I can discard the top card of the invocation deck. I don't think uh, making us tough is going to be too interesting. Nope. That's not really useful either, but that's okay. Well, that's what it is. tough is actually pretty good. I, I, I did not realize. But you know what? It's fine. You will you All will right. be able to play that for nothing at some point anyway. So I'm flipping over to Strain side. I'm going to play Eye of Agamotto. Um, so Strength would pay for that all by itself, yep, right? absolutely, because there are two resources in the lower left, so that does pay right. for it. Um, then I'm going to play Mocking Bird. Mock, um, yeah, ing, yeah, bird, yeah. So three. So Power and All of Us will pay for two of that. Yep. And then... I'll go ahead and tap Eye of Agamotto to pay the third. And, and then she immediately... Yep, she oh, sorry, immediately what? stuns. I, I typically play yeah. my allies to the top row just so I know what's yep. an ally. That's fine. Um, so there you go. There's a giant stun on there. Now, you can use her if you want. Yeah. yeah I guess I might as well start to. She takes one damage each time, right? Yep. So sure, let's let's plink the guy for one damage. Okay, and then you look at the damage counters here. Go ahead and grab one of those, move it on the character, yeah. and then left click on it to add one. Perfect. Yep. Uh, the only benefit of that is there are sometimes cards that say heal the villain for four damage. If you don't heal any, do something. So certainly one damage helps with stuff like that. Uh, sure. Yeah. Now I wish I had kept that toughness card, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and hit him for one with strange, and I think I'm done. Okay. And that is. The I like. I like my last card, so I'm keeping it. When a treasury card is revealed... Oh, yeah, that's amazingly good. And the nice part is it's an event, so you don't even have to have played it. You just play it from your hand. Well, yeah, I remember, I think Spider-Man has the same card back when I was playing the core set, and I remember that being, like, an amazing card. <laughs> I yeah. mean, anything that just, like, cancels straight up some of the worst things in the game is good. So we both have a card, hand size of four, so we do draw four cards. Hit that ready button on the right here to... So, yep, draw four. And ready up all your stuff. Okay. And then we are going to go into the villain phase. So the villain adds two per player. So four to the main scheme. Oh, you know what? We never used the Milano. So did you want to use that to pay for something? Oh, or we could oh wait. No, I guess. Well, it's too late now, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's fine. All right. So we could have used the Milano, which would have been a lot smarter to either remove threat or, you know what? I'm going to do one more damage. We'll say instead of thwarting for two i used the milano sure to sure. thwart for those three and then i would have done one damage which is not the best use of a scarlet witch but uh it is what it is uh all right so we added four to the scheme and then she would attack me first because i am the first player but she is stunned she you think drang is a lady i meant he <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, 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 don't, meant... I don't know drang i don't remember <laughs> drang being in MC, any mcu movies but maybe i don't know you but yeah, Drang is the uh, head of the Badoon, apparently. Uh, and now he is going to attack you. Uh, if you want, I can block for you because honestly, you blocking is not a great idea because you want to use these invocation decks. So I'm going to block for you. Uh, okay. So I have plus two defense against their three attack. So that would be one attack plus whatever this boost is. This boost is for two. Now I have a choice. I'm going to actually make him redraw that boost. And the boost is now for three, which is way worse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not way worse. So I take four damage. So one, two, three, four. I'm down to six life. Uh, yeah. So Scarlet Witch's power is a two-sided blade uh, over here. All right. So go ahead and hit this exclamation part, uh, mark to draw your card. Uh, first, we'll do mine. Badoon Warlord. So this is not, this is a minion. It's not a treachery card, so we can't cancel it. Badoon Warlord attacks gain overkill. So that means if he kills a minion, for example, with his three damage, he would also then, any extra damage would go to yep, your hero. Yep. All right, so not great, but he's there. All right, and I got, I didn't get a treachery. So you um, can let's see. cancel it, because it would Now, would be... that cancel the reveal surge? Like, it wouldn't have surge either? Uh, when it revealed the minion, or um, the villain in each minion engaged with you attacks. Where do you see surge? Well, 
you're not on your alter ego side, so you ignore that part. You only look at the hero uh, side. So yes, but so it, it, it all says one revealed, so you would ignore all of the one revealed effects. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll ignore it. It's not that bad, but whatever. I have this card. I mean, right, he so you. that's not great. Yeah, I'll do Protective Ward, and I'll get rid of t Dive Bomb again, since I can't use it yet. Cool. All right. Yes, you do have Ariel with your cloak, but right now it is not yes. useful. Until I, 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 I figure Doctor Strange has to have his cloak coming at some point. Yes, yes. Uh, that is another good Strange card to have grabbed. But no, the, double, the free resource is always good to get turn one. All right, so that is it for their turn, and you become the first player. So I'm going to hit the take the lead on your side. You also get the Milano. Um, yeah. Again, it, you can use it for you or me. doesn't matter, but you are first. All right. Um, so I can't get rid of this Vapors of Valtor until I flip to my other side, and I don't really want to play it because there are no uh, status conditions out. Wait, what is this uh, special? Choose a status card and play or replace that card. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right here. First, I'm going to play Spiritual Meditation. Um, I draw two cards, and I discard one. Yep. Discard any one card from my hand. Yep. Um, seems so, like I probably want to get Tigray. Tigra, <laughs> Tigray. That was, uh, what, Zoolander? <laughs> I probably want to get uh, t Tigra out. Yes. The best so, part about her is she never has to go away. Because when she attacks and defeats a minion, she heals herself. So even yeah, though yeah. she... So if we can get two damage on... Well, so it doesn't happen the first time. Her first consequential damage she's going to oh, have to yeah. take because consequential damage happens at the end of the turn after her ability would trigger. Sure. All right, well, I'm using Genius and the Eye of Agamotto to play her. Yep. Um, and then I guess... I guess I'll go ahead and... Uh, you want me to hit your minion? Can I do that? Uh, yeah, let right. me see what I have here. I have <laughs> Wonder Man, so that's... Deal five damage to an enemy and discard. Yeah, I don't want to use that. Oh, I do have chaos magic. Um, which I'm gonna pay for helicarrier with. I mean, yeah, do what you want. Like, I've got stuff to do with my cards. So, um, I mean, do you want me to hurt your warlord? Because if not, I'll hit uh, Drang. Uh, I mean, three damage is not great, so I I wouldn't mind you killing him. All right. Well then, let's just say he's dead. I'll use everybody. All right, now you do have to uh, oh, take damage for those two. Yep. All right, so that's it for you. I'm going to play Chaos Magic, play a card from your hand. Hold on, hold on. I can I can still flip to my Alter Ego, right? Yes, uh, and actually this one would have to. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm Mocking... trying to get the tokens. There yeah, Mockingbird's honestly somebody you want in your discard because you want to keep playing her for the stun effect. You don't really care right, about right. the rest. Right, oh, 20. so you flip so you can do that. All right. Stun well, and also I want to have damage. six cards in my hand instead of five, you know? Yep. No, that's really good. All right. So I'm... This is a nice card. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> yeah, no, it's freaking great. Uh, now, threat is a little bit of an issue. Um, well, here. Uh, I'll use the Milan. It'll lower it by three unless you need a... Nope. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Cool. And again, it's an action. All right. So I'm going to use Chaos Magic. Chaos Magic says, play a card from your hand, ignoring its resource cost. Discards cards from the top of the encounter deck uh, equal to the card's printed resources. So I'm playing Helicarrier for free. Um, so we do discard three cards. Come on. Shadows of the Past. No. Okay. Um, so I, can, I can cancel Shadows of the Past. So no worries. Uh, yeah, that does get us through the enemy deck a little bit faster. But, I mean, getting a Helicarrier for free is never a bad thing. I am going to pay the Helicarrier and Molecular Decay to put Wonder Man in play. Uh, Remember that uh, Tenacious D song, Wonder Boy? You ever heard that one? I don't know that song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I will not sing it now, but uh, <laughs> it's a fun one. So Wonder Boy is pretty cheap for what he does, three attack. But the problem with Wonder Boy is you have to discard a card to have him attack. Um, so I'm not going to have him do anything, I don't think. Because target acquired is pretty great. It's uh, You ignore the boost effect of a card. I don't know. I don't remember how many bad boost effects Drang have. But for example, this one right here. Uh, boost. Give the villain tough status card if the villain already has tough status card. This card gains a boost of two icons. So, I mean, that's not too bad. 
but we would ignore the boot, uh, the tough. This resolve a balloon ship charge up ability. Oh, by the way, we forgot to do that. Um, oh, that happens every turn. It happens every turn after you add threat to the scheme. You always charge up the ship. Once it has four, uh, then you do two indirect damage to every player. Oh, and also every time he schemes, maybe my alter ego is going to make that charge up even faster. It is, um, but that's okay. Uh, we will we will deal with it. Um, there are plenty of cards in here that also charge it up as well. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, do, 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 do. I am pretty good with that, so let's ready everything up. Let's draw up to our hand size. So for you, you're going to draw six. Up to six, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you had any cards in your hand. So I got strength in numbers. Team training is pretty great, but I don't have a lot of allies right now. And team building exercise is great too. So team building exercise is uh, lets me play any card that shares a trait with me. So that's Avengers or Mystic, which I have a lot of Avengers in this deck. Um, unfortunately, none in my hand, but it lets me play all Avengers cards for one less. Uh, so nice. It's, so it's, a, it's a basically another resource card. All and right. I got Wong, which makes me happy. Oh yeah, Wong is definitely great for your deck. Um, I don't even see. Oh, there he is. Uh, Exhaust Wong. Choose to either heal one damage from your identity or discard the top card of your invocation deck. Oh, so he'll let you cycle through faster too to get back to Crimson Bands of <laughs> Citra <laughs> Niag, which is freaking. Clearly, want to play every time I can. <laughs> well, there's another one that uh, gives him concu that concusses him by or confuses nice. him. By the way, so there's. There's two good cards in your invocation deck as well, um, which is nice. All right, but we are back to the enemy phase. We're going to add four threat to the scheme. We're going to add one to the Badoon ship over here. And then Drang is going to attack after Drang schemes, uh, which he will against you. So you are first player. Go ahead and hit the boost over here. Yep. So okay, he's so scheming he's even for, for two. two plus zero, which is great. But nice. we do charge up the ship a little bit. And this does say, uh, if you read the Badoon ship, four barrage counters here, deal two indirect damage to each player, and remove all barrage counters. So that's each player. It doesn't say hero. So you're not protected even if you're alter ego. Um, oh, interesting. So he is going to attack me. I am going to defend because Scarlet Witch, let's be honest, doesn't have a great... Oops, this is the boost card. doesn't really matter. All right, so he attacks for three. I block for two, and then nothing. If this activation is an attack... This gains overkill. Well, who cares? Well, piercing and range, does that matter? Uh, so piercing would remove tough if I was tough, which doesn't uh, okay. matter. And uh, range ignores retaliate. And I don't have retaliate, so none yeah, of that matters. I take one damage. Um, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so go ahead and hit the exclamation point to grab a yep. encounter card. I'm going to do mine. Look out! Look out, oh, baby! Dude, I... You I did use a Milano. Remember, you yeah, yeah, unexhausted. I did, I did. Um, Badoon Sentry. Well, now I did put a lot of kill uh, minion. Oh yeah, cards. yeah, no, I, I got, I got some in my hand right now. Yeah, relentless assault will take care of it. All right, let's look at mine. Slipping insanity. So this is one of my obligation cards. Yes, Scarlet Witch is the only character in the game that has two obligation cards. Boy, the source of more threats than anybody has ever seen um, is the question whether that is uh, was intentional or not. Um, by the way, we do have some chats. Sorry, I haven't been as uh, diligent as I normally am. Beat the game says, uh, which is Steve says, hey, buddy, uh, who are you playing with? So I am playing with Mike, who is one of my good buddies. He is actually a co-designer with me. He is the one who started the podcast with me, started the channel with me. Um, you know, he and I were the original two for one stop co-op shop although that's not true colin was the original one yeah, i was about to say <laughs> we started We're the original two for the podcast for the podcast which was um co-op cast when we first started it and then we joined with colin and became one stop co-op shop so mike and i have been friends for a good long time but he has not played a lot of marvel champions he chose to play with dr strange i did not push him one way or another um i did tell him strange is very good um and i did build his deck for him um, so th those things I did do, and I decided to play Scarlet Witch just because I thought it'd be fun combination, like doing magic. Uh, so Steve says, nice. Hey, Mike. So Steve is also a uh, streamer of Marvel Champions. He does um, 
uh, uh, series called Beat the Game. He is much higher level play than me, although I think he'll appreciate my deck because I did an Avengers with lots of like strength in numbers, like draw a lot of cards and do a lot of damage with strength in numbers. So I think that's one of Steve's favorite tricks um, because I've seen him play like, um, whatchamacallit, he played uh, Hawkeye and did like all of his arrows in one turn, which is ridiculous. Like, cause normally you just play one arrow and then you can exhaust yourself to play a second arrow. But he had a lot of stuff to keep unexhausting himself using leadership. Uh, so he did like 10 arrows in one turn, which is just absolutely insane. So Steve is definitely a higher, uh, higher end game. Uh, Steve also says it's a Sorcerer Supreme race. That's right. Uh, we, no, no, no. I only put one Sorcerer Supreme in and I gave it to Mike. Um, so we are not racing to see who gets Sorcerer Supreme first. I, I did not put that card in both decks. Only Mike has it. All right. So my obligation is you may flip to your alter ego form, choose to exhaust yourself to remove Slipping Insanity or discard the top five cards of the encounter deck for each star icon in the boost area. Discarded this way, place one threat on the main scheme. Discard this obligation. Do you still have that card to cancel stuff in your hand? That's not a treachery. Is it not? an obligation to say it's its own type son of a all right so i could flip if i wanted so what's the benefit of flipping i could discard two cards to draw two new cards <sighs> strength in numbers isn't great when you don't have a lot of allies um team training i do want to get out yeah i don't want to discard cards all right uh so i'm not going to flip i am just going to discard how many cards five cards in the encounter deck looking for stars um, not not looking for stars not looking for stars all right, so one <laughs> two three four five nice zero stars and you got rid of both of our uh, other obligations so there you go i mean yes clearly that was the best move ever <laughs> hey, hey peter uh retaliate does that apply to each attack against them or only like the first attack in a turn nope, each attack against you okay so i do just want to kill him with one shot from strange not hitting with my allies and, and stuff. if you kill him you do not get retaliated on. So if oh, you do okay. five all at once, you never see the retaliate. Well, that, that'll certainly happen, so. That's all fine. right, so I'm going to be first player, but do you want to play that action? Um, No, I mean, there's no hurry to, right? So do your thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, but bottom line, you don't need me to help you with Badoon. All right, so I am going to play team training. Uh, now, I had gotten a second one of these to put in front of you. But uh, Terrence pointed out how stupid that is because most of your allies either heal themselves like Tigra or are like Mockingbird, which you want to discard because their best right. ability is them stunning or um, are uh, one shot heroes that go away after one turn. So I had gotcha. had a team training to put in front of you, but it doesn't make any sense because uh, you don't really care about keeping your allies in front of you. Uh, all right. So, um... I think I am, believe it or not, going to get team building exercise in play. So I'm going to discard strength and numbers. I'm going to uh, use Helicarrier, and that puts team building exercise in play, which lets me play something with the same and preparation and skill as neither of those. So, see, Steve's going to tell me to keep strength and numbers and discard target acquired, but I am not going to do that. I am going to do what I did. I could discard target acquired to attack for three, but I am not going to do that either. So I am completely done. Go for it. Did you want to uh, reduce threat with the Milano? I don't think I I'm going to do that. Yeah. It's a first player action. So again, as an action, I could play it at any time. But yes, I'm going to play it now. Good call. All right. So I'm not going to use Stephen Strange's abilities. I'm just going to flip. Wait, hold on. Is there anything Wait, that cares about whether I'm Strange? You don't want to get rid of uh, Crimson Bands of... I I do not get out of here. <laughs> Kaidorak or whatever. Sitorak, Sitorak. It looks like Sitorak. Um. All right. So I'm gonna play uh, Energy to pay for Relentless Assault. That'll just uh, kill the minion. If I'd paid with a fist, then it would uh, also have Overkill. But that is he has five life. So yes, Overkill does that. not help. Yep. Um, then I want to get Wong going on. So let's get do... Wong going on. <laughs> yep, let's do that. Oh, wait, crud. If so I play Wong, I want to be able to pay for this invocation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ironheart yeah. does let you draw a card. Which would get... Oh, yeah, I see. So it would basically cost one resource instead of two. All so... right, Wong, you'll just, you'll just have to wait, buddy. 
Um, so I'll pay for Ironheart with Into the Fray and the Eye of Agamotto. Draw a card. That seems like something I shouldn't get rid of either. I mean, it seems good. <laughs> Dang it! Come on, game. All right, I'm not going to play Crimson Bands of Sidorak this turn. I'm going to play Sorcerer Supreme um, for Wong and Protective Ward. I mean, it seems um, pretty good. <laughs> Plus one so hand size, one in uniform, so now you're six either way. Yep. All right, and then I think I'll uh, thwart for my regular action. All right. Get rid of two, two threat. Yep. Seems good. Um, and I guess I'm done. Are you not going to do anything with any of your allies? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and Mockingbird can uh, can hit him for one. Okay. And she's gone. When she's um, gone. When she's Tigra, gone. I'll... You probably want to hold her to kill stuff. Right. And that includes the villain. If you do the last two points of damage to the villain, um, that will oh, even when he's the damage from her. All right, so I will have uh, Iron Heart go ahead and hit him for one as well. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right, and Sorcerer Supreme you can either keep there or, like I said, I like to keep allies top row, cards I have to tap middle row, and then bottom row I keep stuff that's, like, always in play. Sure, sounds good. Um, yep, although in this case, actually, all my tapping stuff is on the bottom, so I lied completely. All right. Um, That's right, so where we're readying and everything, right? Yep. So go ahead and ready up. Draw up to your hand size. So I'm drawing four more cards. By the way, Steve wanted to see us race to Sorcerer Supreme, which I am not doing. Sorcerer Supreme, you will see, is a really good card, but only one of us can have it because it. Oh, yeah. there's your cloak of levitation. Um, yep, I got it. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I ready every turn. Yeah. Dude, wh wh why don't you tell me to shut up about Eye of Agamotto and get the cloak that turn when I had uh, the Because two I like haven't played Strange it. in forever because he's not terrible. Um, gotcha. <laughs> not that I only play terrible villains but or uh, heroes, but, uh, I mean, he's pretty good. Uh, all right, so we got... Oh, my got... God. I can play boot camp on you, right, because you have more allies than I do? Yes, and you want to play boot camp on me, in fact. Seems pretty amazing, yeah. All right. Um, yes. All right. Um, all right. So Badoon ship over here has charged up to four. So we each take two indirect damage. And again, you could take that to yourself. Give one to an ally. Give Take one yourself. Whatever you want to do. I'm just taking the two yeah, myself. I took it. Okay. Um, and then he is going to do, 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 do. I am first player. So first thing, he's going to attack me. I'm going to block with Scarlet Witch. So he attacks for three. I block for two. Uh, if this activation is a scheme, it gets plus two boost. So it's not a scheme, it's an attack. So it would only have one boost, so that would do two damage to me, which put me to one life, which isn't great. Um, what is my special ability again? When a boost icons on an encounter card... Hey, don't don't redraw, you'll die. <laughs> yeah, well, no, 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 but I got magic shield here. When a friendly character would uh... take any amount of damage, discard magic shield to prevent three of that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to take the two damage there. I'm going to prevent All both right. of it and go ahead and do your turn. And wait, to declare I'm defending before I see what he did? Yep. Well, now, you I'm could not chump with Ironheart, who is, I mean, basically would take all of the damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, I'll do that. So three plus two is five damage. Ironheart has one life, so clearly kills Ironheart, but no overkill, so Ironheart's dead with no other... Did your job, Ironheart! Yes. I, I mean, Ironheart <laughs> comes in, does one thing, and then blocks for you and takes a bunch of damage. So, yep. that is Ironheart's purpose as well. Um, but drawing the card is great, because it really only costs you one um, in the end scheme yeah, of things. Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our cards. Uh, let's see. What does Steve say? Uh, you don't have any allies, so there's no point to play strength. Yes, you're correct. Not yet. This deck has a lot of allies. You wouldn't know by the hands that I've been drawing. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I got another team building exercise, which I'm not going to play too. I just have two in there to get as early as possible. All right. So mine is Badoon Engineer. Uh, after Badoon Engineer engages you or activates against you, Resolve Badoon ship charge up ability. So unfortunately, we're gonna add one to the Badoon ship, and we got this three life jobber sitting in front of me. You know, I'm really glad that we uh, accidentally played on expert Peter, so I can experience this fun card. Yes. So you exhaust your. No, wait. Do you have anything that discards treasure? I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. 
Yeah, treachery cards are bad. Oh! Oh! oh. No. Yep. Great. There's that. <laughs> it's so. Awesome. Shadows of the Past, the worst card in the game, uh, and the best all at the same time. So here's your nemesis. They come in front of you. We also have a side scheme that comes out uh, and gets three. Let's see. Replace the top card of the invocation deck face down under the scheme. Uh, when defeated, shuffle the invocation card under the invocation deck. So you lose this. Goes face down under this. It also accelerates, so that's plus one threat per turn with this. And it gets three per player, so six threat on this. Which is fun. Uh, and then you uh, have uh, Baron Mardu. When Baron Mardu attacks you, discard Mordo, the top card. dude. Mordo. Come on. <laughs> uh, Mardu. I'm sorry. When he attacks you, discard the top card of the deck. If the card is a printed resource card and you look at what it is, you're stunned, take two damage, confused, or all of the above. So we want to kill him because that's wonderful all kinds of bad all right so you're gonna be first player good news you get the milano enjoy that. Uh, yeah Jeez, louise and now um, you lost your uh, thing but you get to draw three cards for free basically oh no you can't because you can't exhaust yourself which is not well good. i can i'm gonna make it happen all right so i'm playing uh click levitation ah go ahead and get rid of uh these magic blasts Oh no. I'm gonna get rid of spiritual meditation because I want to go through my deck faster. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna. So Although I'm draw gonna two use cards and discard one, that means actually that means you keep your hand size the same. Correct. That's why I don't care. <laughs> All right, so I uh, exhausted myself. I am invoking uh, that, so I draw three cards. Um. Nick Fury. So Fury is great because you can use him to draw three cards. And you discard yeah. him at the end of the turn, so he's a chump blocker for you for one turn as well. Uh, or you can mm -hmm. do four damage, or you can remove two threat from the scheme, which is probably not the best of those options. <laughs> Unless you really need that two threat removed. Huh. So I could use Master of the Mystic Arts to play Images of Icon and be pretty close to getting rid of Open the Door. Of... Well, anyway, let me go ahead and do uh, Into the Fray before I forget. So that's gonna kill uh, Mordo and real and remove one threat from the main scheme. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pay with spiritual meditation, Nick Fury. Oh wait, these and the discard pile. Magic blast. Uh, did he take one away from the main threat I or did. the main scheme? Yep. Okay. And then um, you want the boot camp? Um. I mean, you don't. I don't need it because I don't have a lot of allies right now. I mean, my deck should have five allies at some point, um, but right now I have one, and I'm not drawing them, which means I'm gonna get all of them in like the next turn. All right, all right. Then I'm gonna use Boot Camp to play Master of the Mystic Arts. I'll use the Eye of Agamotto to actually pl pay for the uh, invocation. So I'm so I confuse uh, Drang, um, and I'll. And I remove four from a scheme. Maybe this one uh, can either of us. Yeah. Um, and the Milano only takes away three from the main scheme, right? Correct. Not... So how are we going to get? I mean, you, you can thwart for Hex, two, right? Well, Hexbolt might oh, get two. Hexbolt might get two. All right. Well, let's try it then. I'll remove uh, four from this. Yep. All right. Um. Yeah, and I guess I'll remove three threat from the main scheme with the Milano. Yeah, no, I think that's right. All right, I'm done. Oh, I guess I could flip, but you're probably going to want to flip, right? I, to, I would uh... rather flip if you don't mind, because I'm at three health. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then you can <laughs> you can benefit from the confusion, so that's fine. Yep, I appreciate that, um, which also means he doesn't add one to this, right? Because he never schemes, so that's the good part about that. All right, so we're going to Hexbolt and Prey. Um, so Hexbolt um gets to do three things based on what's here and we want to see a one boost icon card there it is boom two threat removed from a scheme so this one is gone nice. when it's gone uh so this comes into your deck and i think it says shuffle it yeah so yay get... that that one <laughs> well oh you don't have uh wang to get rid of it either no unfortunately modular decay i could play but that means I get rid of target acquired, which at this point, I mean, it is what it is. 
I have team building, which will help me pay for an Avenger if I ever get one. Uh, I have team training, which adds one health. Oh, actually, I might want him to poke him in the head. Deal five damage to an enemy. Yeah, that's too good to do. All right, so I'm going to pay my team building exercise to pay for Wonder Man to attack. He's going to attack this Badoon uh, engineer and get rid of it. Let's make nice. sure there's nothing that happens. Force response after he... Nope, so nothing. Uh, we do have to add a damage to Wonder Man over here. Uh, and I'm going to play target acquired. So any of those star boost icons that we don't like, I can discard it to ignore that effect. Uh, and again, good. these seem good, but they're only good in not this situation. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I am done. I'm going to ready everything up. I'm going to draw four cards. I saw you already drew up, and you did not ready, though. So go ahead and ready everything up. Oh, Ooh. man. Sanctum Sanctorum is amazing. I mean, I tried to give you a lot of good cards. And again, that is one of his base cards. Yeah. Well, right, right. <laughs> yeah, and Lockjaw, I remember. Well, Lockjaw is great because you never have to play him from your hand. Right, right, right. And in no, fact, I, I, he's I, really I, I good remember. with power in all of us. All right, so, um, so first he attacks me. Well, first we have to add one, two, three, four. Then add oh, yes. one to this. Then he attacks you because you are first player. All right, so, you know, I will go ahead and defend. I don't have that card that, like, boosts Strange for the turn. Uh, so. Now, you could play two spells with your cloak if you don't defend. Yeah, but, I mean, the Viper's Valtor is going to do nothing right now, so. Oh, good call. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, so I'll defend. Boost. So it would be, oh, uh, put Badoon, Badoon Oh, that's fine. Uh, Tiger will kill him and not even get hurt by doing so. Uh, yes. Oh, wait. If there are no other minions engaged with you, deal yourself one face down. No, no. You card. only look at the bottom boost. So. Oh. You sure? Because he's being put into play. No, no, no. Put into play means from uh, a lookout event. Oh, so he's not engaging me. He is not engaging you. That only yeah, happens right, well then, yes. when... So when you do a star event, you only look at what's below the line. He does not engage you. Um, All right. Cool. So that's took Oh my one gosh, there is and... so much chat going on. I've been so engaged in this game that I have not been paying attention to it. Um, so let's see. Man. Sorry, guys. I have totally not been paying attention. Uh, let's see. That would have been funny. So there's no point to play strength. Uh, oh, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, Mike plays this game, says Pumpkinhead76. Well, he has not played it much since it's come out. I, I lent him my set a while ago, and uh, he gave it back to me unplayed. Um, I, I'm, I'm a busy man. I play a lot of games. It's tough for me to do. I mean, even Arkham LCG, my number one game, I rarely play, unfortunately. Yeah, and then Steve said... Uh, the beat card, I usually see uh, it, it it turn one. Sorry, Steve. I don't know what that was from. Oh, best card that he sees in turn one. Um, I don't remember which card that was, so I apologize. Oh, pr pr probably the uh, the one that I was like, why didn't you tell me to get this? The cloak. <laughs> oh, a cloak is great. Yes. Um, All right, uh, uh, Pumpkinhead, I I'm on here now, too. I can help you with the chat. So, Pumpkinhead, when you were mispronouncing Mordo's name, said more don't. I like that. <laughs> All right, anyway, Peter, what's uh? Oh, you're so you don't. Nothing happens for you. His confusion just goes away, right? His confusion goes away. Nothing happens. So now go ahead and hit the lookout card. You grab a card. Yep. I grab a card. We all grab a card. You grab a card. I grab a card. Oh wait, Thought wait, wait. Casting. So wait, the what's only matter? thing that happens now that I think about this is because that happened during his attack. So wait, you took the damage from his attack, right? Oh, these guys would also attack me? He would also attack because he came in during the attack phase. It's always yeah, villain yeah. attacks, then all minions in front of you attack. So he would attack right. you for two is the negative. Yep. Now, I could I have it. used target acquired to get rid of it if you don't want to take the two damage. but That's nah, fine. It's fine. All right. All right. So I got thought casting. I'm a hero. Discard a card from your hand with the highest cost. Take damage equal to the printed cost of that card. That doesn't seem good. That's not, that's not great. All right. So Lockjaw is dealing four to me. Do we not um, have any way to ignore that? No, we don't. Yep. That was almost real bad. Yeah, that was that was rough. So you're flipping next turn, obviously. 
Um, go ahead and get rid yep. of that. Uh, I got a Badoon Assassin. Force response. After Badoon Assassin engages with your hero, it attacks you with plus two attacks, so it would attack me for three. No, wait, wait, wait. Why am I on Scarlet Witch? I clearly flipped. Um, yes, you did. So it is not engaging with a hero, so it does nothing. The Assassin does not attack me because I am not a hero. We, nice. We clearly knew I was flipping. Yeah, we said all the things as if I had flipped. I just did not flip, um, which was not very smart of me. All right, anyway, um, so I become first player. We, uh, I get the Milano, and we are ready for the next turn. Uh, all for one, deal three damage to an enemy, and then I can exhaust Avengers to do more damage, which is, oh, Stinger is definitely coming in. All right, so Stinger's an Avenger, so let's do team building exercise to put Stinger in for free. Stinger does not count as an ally. So it's just a extra nice. ally I can have. So I can have up to four allies right now. Um, and as you can see, like all for one as an example, um, deal three damage and exhaust an Avenger ally to do an extra damage. So again, right now it could do five damage by exhausting my two Avengers, which doesn't give them consequential damage. So it basically is just more damage. And then we saw strength in numbers or whatever, which lets me draw a card for each Avenger ally I exhaust. So that's kind of Sounds the pretty good. theme of this. Uh, I do have Quicksilver as well. That's probably not going to happen right now. Um, I want to boost Icon. All right, so let's do this. First of all, Milano is going to remove three from the main scheme because, well, yes. Um, all right, so and Stinger is going to do his one attack that he's going to do ever to get rid of Badoon assassin because that seems like a good use of your one attack uh quicksilver is never gonna come out at that cost when boost icons on an encounter card are count uh do, do, do. oh so i can increase or decrease boost icons with her uh which seems real good so i'm gonna get rid of wait what's modular decay five damage and two cards that's real good yeah that's better than this all right so i'm gonna spend this and do you think you need an extra resource for my helicarrier? Because helicarrier is nice because I can use it on you as well. I mean, I, I do want to play the Quinn carrier this turn and Sanctum Sanctorum. Um, you can use Quinn carrier to pay for Sanctum Sanctorum. That's true, and I already have. I mean, I might be okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the Quinn carrier then to... Well, you know what? I'm going to use Quick Quicksilver. I'll save the Quinn carrier for you. So this basically lets me increase or decrease the number of boost icons on a card which seems oh, nice. good. And again, it's uh, exhaust to do, so I can use it for offensive abilities or defensive. Um, so that seems good. <sighs> do I attack with Wonder Man? You don't need me to get rid of that, so no, I'm good. Oh, wait, I would I would flip. and w Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't flip. I would heal for three. And then I would flip. All right. All right, I'm good. So before I forget, I'll use Tigra, so she... Takes a damage, but then defeats that guy and gets it right back. Correct. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, unexhaust myself with my cloak. Um, You're gonna. Have to all right, so I'm gonna probably. play. I'm gonna use uh, the power of all of us. Yep. That's worth double to get Quinn Carrier into. So you do need play. to pay one more. Yep. And that'll be with I've Agamotto, I think. And then I'm going to use Quinn Carrier to pay for Sanctum Sanctorum. That's an Alter Ego. Um, but you're probably about to flip anyway, because you need yes. life back. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I am, I'm going to flip. I'll go ahead and heal three. I'm going to get rid of this with my once per turn action. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and use Sanctum Sanctorum. I'm going to get... Now, this um, is a special invocation. It does not say that you have to... It's a hero action. Let me look at these. Well, no, no, no. The, the thing is oh, that's the to... only consistent way to play those besides that one card. I think they're all hero actions that play them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have to... And on the other side is the only way to play them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm getting a protective ward back in, shuffling that back in, because I want to always have those, if at all possible. Then I draw a card. We got Wasp, who's free. What? Well, oh. so she has zero life. But for every... oh, for each, I overpaid. Got it. Um, so for... yes, forget that. I'm gonna get Martial Prowess played for yep. both my other cards. Um, and I think that's everything I can do. 
Yep, seems good. I got I got a lot of free money coming. My well, way. and you've thinned your deck also, right? That's the the huge benefit of playing all these cards in front of you is now you're getting back to your big attack cards, big stuff quicker. Um, oh wait, you had Helicarrier. Um, oh yeah. So do you want to say, look at any of those cards? See which one you want to save. Um, I guess I'll save Wasp. That seems like she might be good. Yeah, if you right? get some lightning bolts. I I did not pay attention to lightning bolts in your deck, which is seems like an error now that i look at it well i've got i've got <laughs> two ways to get wild resources well right? sure do they, do they count as lightning bolts if absolutely wild? yep so well, she would have at least go. two life on her yep all right anyway i'm good and so... she has three attack which is pretty good if you could get three life on her it'd be amazing so because i'm going through my deck we have to draw an extra crap card right yep so go ahead and hit the lookout card um do so... we resolve it immediately no it hangs out until, no it just like, hangs out until phase, we get to right? that part of the phase Got it. All right, uh, I'm good. So I'm going to unexhaust as well. Uh, and then first things first, one, two, three, four. This gets another counter on it. Then he attacks me. Ah, normally I'd chump, but... Oh, I got two strength in numbers, which is one more than I would ever need. Um, <laughs> but it would let me draw two cards. So I don't really want to chump this turn. So I'm just going to block. Um, so I blocked two of the three damage. We are going to look at the boost. There is none. So if this activation is an attack, it gains that. I could get rid of target acquired, but that seems like a bad use of that. Well, maybe not, though. Uh, what is my special power again? When a boost icon on the encounter card would be countered, discard the top card of the encounter card and count the number of boost icons on the card instead. So, Steve, you would know this uh, answer. Does this star get uh ignored from this that i don't know um because it says count the star icons instead but i don't know if it counter gets rid of the star ability um or if it just gets rid of icons now target acquired would get rid of the star ability you know what i'm just gonna do that and i'll take one damage yep all right, and then uh, he's scheming. So we, oh, we are getting shot by the dang ship. So we each take two damage, and that is <laughs> yep. indirect, and it doesn't say heroes. So yep, we all take it. So and go then, ahead. Um, he's gonna scheme for two wait, plus. Nope, that's right. Uh, plus, yep, yep, yep. Got to draw a boost. Um, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, Tiger can just kill those guys forever, so I don't mind. Um, now he does do scheme for two. Correct. Wait, hold on. We were at seven. How'd you go up to 11? Because he, did it he twice. schemed for two, and then this guy schemes for two. Oh! Dang it. Because he All comes right, into play it. before the end of the villain activation, and then yeah, he yeah, does yeah. it. Yeah, That's why he only has two life. It's like, oh, that's not such a bad card. Kind of is, because he's going to do two attack or two right, right, right. schemes. All right, I so got both my cards. But... I do go first. Oh, got this jobber. Force response. Now, this does happen. Uh, if he engages you, if there's no other minions engaged with you, do yourself one face down encounter card, which I have to deal with immediately. Which isn't great. Seems gotta, bad. Gotta be honest. Uh, the villain schemes, which is also bad. So, one of these. Yep. Yeah, I got it. And then two plus one, and I'm gonna get rid of this to make it zero. So, it's just two. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do your two. Now my villain, my minion does not activate because he didn't come in during the attack phase or whatever. Attach your hero. When you play an event, cancel its effects and discard it, then discard this card. So the next event That's... you play is worthless. And, our, and by the way, all your invocations are all events. So, oh, all right. that, oh, that is why it is your, by the way, nemesis card. <laughs> Because <laughs> yep, it is I see it. specifically designed to job you. Special delivery. You may exhaust the Milano if you do not. The villain schemes. All right, so we are going to cancel that treachery because I've got... Uh, oh, you do have it. One of the, yeah, I have protective ward. And I'll go ahead and use that to do it. All right, there we go. I mean, you could use I have whatever as well. but all right. I'm using that to play Wasp, remember? Nice. All right, so you were first player, so you were going to get the Milano. I mean, we could have exhausted the Milano. I, I, you spent basically two resources instead of spending the Milano. I don't know if you think that was worth it, because Milano gets you one, or actually, we need to remove threat. Never mind. Oh, yes, that's what I was thinking. Yes, because I do not All have right. good threat removal right um, now. So I'm going to heal three. Um, you getting rid of that top card? I don't even know what it is. 
No, nah, it gives three of us tough. I think I might want to play that, right? Yep. All right, then I'm flipping myself. I'll use my cloak to untap. Um. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I want to use a Sanctum Sanctorum before I flip. I'll go and put Protective Ward back in my deck and draw a card. All right. So that's exhausted. Um, I'd love to get Wasp and Wong out this turn. So let's see. Wasp. I do have a Helicarrier if you need it. Let's see what I can do on my own. So that's one, two. Yeah, I guess I would need the Helicarrier to get Wong out. Um, Because that's three to get Wasp to full strength. Um, Can you give me a three with the Helicarrier? Or one with the Helicarrier? All right, so I'll get rid of the other two here. Um, Now, here's what we use for uh, three. Oh, thanks. All right, so I'll use the Milano to lower threat three. Let's try to tamp now, the blood. Now, you have not uh, an event, so just so you know, if you tried to play this, it would do nothing. Yep, yep, that's fine. All right, I killed the Badoon Grunt with Tigra. Yep. Um. So Wong could heal me for one without hurting himself. Let's go ahead and do that. Um... Right, or does that hurt him? Does any action hurt him, or only no. attacking him? Nope, him? only... See, uh, that's right. and, and, and in it's, fact... It's the number of stars. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep. So some of them will have no stars for something, and if you look at... Uh, well, I guess he's gone. Um, oh, gosh, what's the dog's name? I call him Good Boy. I can't remember his name. Um, Lockjaw. 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 He gets two damage each time he does anything. So. Gotcha. All right, wait, wait. And then Wasp will finally hit the friggin' boss. Um... <laughs> Because we've done like nothing to him. Yeah. Um, well, but I mean, we have stuff like modular or uh, molecular decay, right? Which is going to do five plus two boost cards worth of damage. Plus, don't forget, I can sure, change sure. it. I can draw new boost cards. Like, um, yep, yep, good point. But All right, so my I'm, big, uh, I'm... my big Sorry. problem is a stupid grunt right now. Um, oh, do you want? I mean, I can hit. I can kill the grunt with wasp instead of. Uh... Well, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll kill the grunt with Wong. Do one damage to Wong, and not heal yourself one. Correct. Yeah, I mean, just because he's two extra damage, and I obviously can't afford extra damage right now. Um, yep. I mean, I could always chump. Don't get me wrong with Stinger, but um, I'd prefer not to do that if possible. So I'm going to do strength and numbers. So strength and numbers says exhaust any number of allies and draw that many cards. So I'm going to draw two cards. Ooh, Squirrel Girl. Love me some Squirrel Girl. Uh, actually, I'm not going to pay that. I'm going to pay... Huh. Molecular Decay is pretty good, though. should probably do that and get Avengers Tower and not do Squirrel Girl. Let me see how this works. Uh, so two to get Avengers Tower out. That lets me get another ally. So now I can have a fifth ally out as long as one of them is Stinger. Uh, and you could see strength and numbers and stuff like that. Why that's yep, a benefit. I remember that one. Um, so Avengers Tower also is a counts as a resource toward an Avenger ally. But right, uh, and team building exercise. So actually, these two will pay for Squirrel Girl for free. Uh, so Seems she good. does one damage to everybody when she comes in, or every enemy. Um. Huh. I'm going to strengthen numbers and exhaust Squirrel Girl to draw a card. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Um, I am going to discard one of the Molecular Decays, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right, man. All right, I'm readying up. Me too. Get to draw a three. Ooh. I got Agatha Harkness. I got the boot camp to play on you. Nice. Oh, which will give everybody plus one damage, which seems good. Does seem good. I have Order and Chaos, which doesn't help me. I get Hawkeye, which I play for free for sure, using Avengers Tower and my power of leadership. So, Where's your brother, by the way? Uh, I, I, I discarded him once. Quicksilver? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, doesn't he like boost you in some way when well, you're on the ordering oh when i'm on my alter ego side he lets me discard two cards to draw three instead of discard two draw two 
Ah, uh, okay. Um, and I have this Order and Chaos card, which is Team Up, if I have Quicksilver. Uh, when a Treachery card is revealed from the Encounter deck, cancel its one of revealed effects, and then deal two, two damage to the villain, which is an awesome card, but I have to pay for for Quicksilver, and he has to actually be in my hand. None of those things gotcha. are happening this turn. <laughs> All right, well, I'm uh, blocking with Strange. Well, hold on. So we got to add four. Oh, yes. Which gets us two away from not being great. All right, so he's hitting me for five, so I'll take three. Do you want me to lower it by one? No, that's fine. You got to block yourself, dude, or you're dead. Well, we've got Stinger and people like that. Don't forget. That's true. Well, no, I don't want to kill any of mine yet. Did you do anything with Wasp? She should have taken one damage. Oh, you she just did. reduced That's her counters by one. I got you. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, it could block with Stinger. I'd rather not because a lot of my stuff counts on me having a lot of allies, and he's the only one that's additional. Um, so I'm just going to block myself, and we'll draw. So attacking for three, that's plus zero. So that's fine. I'll take one damage. And we're both at two life, which is not great for either of us, but go ahead and draw your bad card. <laughs> yeah, if we get uh, two of those charge up things, that'll be bad. Well, I mean, it is what it is, right? We'll have to charge. We'll have to. Sure. Oh, you All have right. two of those. Well. Now, hold on. Force interrupt. When you would play an event, cancel its effect and discard it, then discard this card. You know what? I think one event will get rid of both of those, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I think one event will discard them both. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, Wasteland Sniper so, says, we'll stupid see. YouTube didn't alert me to the stream starting. Sorry, stupid YouTube for, or sorry, Wasteland Sniper for stupid YouTube not alerting you. Uh, yeah, you do need to have alerts turned on, but sometimes it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, all right, so we're getting six on this. This is your event. We had this already. So actually your top whatever cards going away and going under Wait, what this happened? again oh that thing came out again with the f yep i don't mind the top card oh we went least, through but... the enemy deck that means oh i just noticed that so we do need to add a permanent acceleration token which is not great either i thought he said this first boss wasn't that bad dude <laughs> he's not that bad but we're playing expert because i'm an idiot uh, and uh, and right. twice I went to expert. I, I did. I did not want. Like I specifically did not want to get into the doldrums of Marvel uh, champions. This is one of the things I don't like about the game. That sometimes you just kind of get into like this null state where like you're building up and they're building up and nothing's We're actually right. happening. We're all right. We got all this and we will be fine. Uh, all right. All right. So do you want to flip or do you want me to? What's what's your event? Oh. But do you have an event card in your hand that you can just burn? I got a zero cost event. Everything is fine. Okay, so you're going to be able to stun him. Absolutely. And, and I'll have chump blockers. We're fine. I'm just going to chump, like at this point. Uh, so I'm going to pay two plus Avengers Tower to put Hawkeye in play. He gets three boost counters on him. Uh, four. Nice. Four arrows on him. Basically, every time a uh, minion enters play, you remove an arrow and deal two damage oh, to that nice. minion. Um, so, would it kill those guys before they get a chance to attack? Or uh... Yep. Yep. That's awesome. Immediately kills them. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So, I'm going to use my helicarrier if you don't mind. I'll do it. All right. So, we'll do this. We will do uh, mole Molecular Decay, which I could have played before now. But it does five damage and two boost cards worth of damage. So five nice. plus zero. I'm going to redraw that because remember, that's Scarlet Witch's yep. power. So five plus zero <laughs> plus one. So And then I'm going to use this to make it seven. All right. I got him down to 12. All right. And then uh, I feel like we need to thwart um, yes. as much as possible. So I'm going to thwart for three. Yes, that seems and you like use a, a, Milano too? a bad use of some things, but uh, yeah, so six total off the main scheme. Oh, All right. actually, if I remove three off of here, would you want to remove three off of there? Or well, I mean, it's, I, I think it's more important to stop the main scheme. From I popping, do too, right? but that's your seven attack stun card, isn't no, it? No, this is my seven attack oh, stun card. Sweet. That was that so, was some yeah. bull crap. Yeah, let's keep that bull crap <laughs> no, up there then. I'm, I'm happy that's gone. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, and All right, that are you is, good? Yep, that's everything for me. All right, so I'm going to play Spiritual Meditation. It's canceled, and it gets rid of, we're saying, both of those. Yep, absolutely. Um, both. Now I'm going to play Spiritual Meditation again for its actual use. So draw two cards and discard one. Let's get rid of Lockjaw. Yeah, Lockjaw is an easy choice there because you can always just pay these four resources to get them out right now. Yep, I'm using Genius um, and uh, into the fray. Boot camp is on you now, so all your guys have plus one attack. I mean, seems good. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that an action? It is not. No, it's a location. Oh, yeah, but I, I thought about them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I thought of the same thing. I was like, can I do it this turn? And no, we cannot. Oh, I'll use the cloak to untap myself. Um, yeah. Gonna tap myself. I uh, use, um, I guess, energy. I got too much resources this time. I mean, that happens sometimes. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll keep energy then. Um,. I'll use Eli of Agamotto and Quinn Carrier. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, saving energy is not the worst thing in the world. So seven damage and stun to the boss. All right, so he's down to five life. Seems good. And he's stunned. Which um, is also good. I'll have Wasp hit him for another one. Or, sorry, three more damage. Should I have Wang finish him off? Go for it. Do, uh, well, I... hold on. Let's see what happens. Uh, when revealed, discard the top four per player cards in the encounter deck. Each of the min uh, uh, each time a minion is discarded this way, put it into play. Engage with the player who. I mean, I would say let's wait till the beginning of next turn to finish yeah, them off. Yeah, I would say. All right, so I'll have um, what is my new card? Because I could pay for it. Confuse the villain and remove four third from a scheme. That sounds good. Well, hold on. So I, oh. Wong exhaustion. Oh, oh, he just discards the top card. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the other card that let's play. Well, I don't think I want to discard that. All right, so I'll have Wong uh, heal me for Seems one. Good. Yep. I'm not going to have Tiger do anything. And I'm just um, going to have Squirrel Girl chump block, by the way, because I'm at my max number of allies. Or I'm not, but it's fine. Um, So I shouldn't flip then because we're worried about threat too much, right? I mean, yeah, we're so going to add six threat to the scheme right now. Um, yeah. So it'll be right, two. So I'm, uh, can I discard cards I don't want, or are they just stuck yeah, in my course. hand? Yep. So I'll discard relentless assault. Well, actually, no. You know what? I'll keep it because we know that he's about to put out a bring ton in of a minions, bunch of minions, but... right? Yep. yep. Absolutely. Right, I'm done. Yeah, I gave you a lot of minion killing cards, by the way, intentionally, knowing who we were playing. Yep. Um, all right. Makes sense. So let's ready everything up. Let's go ahead and draw to our hand size. Yep. Mm. All right. Oh, I got Ant Man, which is good. All right. Um. So we will first add six. Jeez. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh. Then we will add one to here. Then he will try to attack me, but cannot. Then he will try to attack you. Can you I'll, block for me? I'll chump with Squirrel Girl. Yep. All right. So Squirrel Girl would take four damage. Four. Oh no, goodbye, Squirrel Girl. I hardly right, need you. Look out. All right. Ah, uh, Badoon Sentry, Retaliate 1. Give this villain the tough status card. I, oh, I can blow him up. No, no, that's easily. if he came in as a boost. Um, but I actually, when he comes in, do 2 damage to him. Does he retaliate against that? Nope. Okay. No, because it says uh, retaliate oh. against attack. Hey, there we go. Okay, so he's dead. Now wait, does the force response take place, or does Quicksilver preempt After that? Badoon engages you, there's no other minions engaged with you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and an agreed wasteland sniper. I like uh, I like that meditation card a lot. <laughs> yes. All right. After a minion enters play, remove an arrow. Um, I think we get to resolve it in whatever order we want. I, mean, I feel like he enters play and then he engages me, right? So I think he's dead. Sure. I, I think that's probably wrong, but we're going to do it because we went to play standard and not expert. So uh, that's, right. that's on me. We're, we're gonna... we, we deserve some nice things in our life. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not going to do that, even though I think that is incorrect, but that is okay. Um, because at this point, I don't really care because uh, I don't want to <laughs> die. I don't want to die. Do, All right, do, uh, do, 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 do. I take first player. 
Alrighty. So I guess let's hit that guy first, right, and see what kind of fun we got. Um, what's he got left? Any extra damage we do does not go to his next form, right? Well, actually, oh, correct. So yeah, right, so two let's, extra. Let's make it easy. Perfect. Let's do relentless assault. Which has uh, overkill. With martial prowess. That is the fist that I need, and I need one more. Whatever else is use Quinn carrier. So I did uh, two, a uh, three damage year guy, and the last two to Drang. So we'll advance Drang. Bum bum bum. So we got to discard eight cards, and any minions. So we'll do them one at a time. One, two, three. So this one will engage somebody. Immediately dead. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just do that. Boink. So that was three, four. Not dead. Oh, when he engages you, and we charge up, which is going to make it pop. Um, who does he engage? Do we choose? We choose. Easy? Yeah. So, I mean, give it to me, because then, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. But Well, it, unless so an assassin comes up and kills me in two seconds. We immediately stop to resolve the you, charge up. Oh, wait, wait. What does it say? Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. So, we immediately do it. So right, two so damage, go. I'm going to do one to Hawkeye, and I'll take one myself. I'll do one to Wong, and yeah, one myself. Oh, wait, I do not heal. I take damage. <laughs> yes. All right, so that was, uh, that was four cards so far. So we're halfway done. Whoa, yep. we're halfway there. Five, six, nice. Uh, Dead? No, your last unfortunately Hawkeye, right? not. I don't, no! I don't have that. So, And he does have to engage me. Yeah, add another card. Wait, what? What does he say? He's the only guy that's engaged with you. You have to add another card. All right. All right. Uh, cool. Well, hold on. Who's... When did these come in? When... Oh, that's during your turn. So we don't resolve this yet. Okay. All right, so I mean, don't forget kill. there is more than one stage here, so we can lose this, right? We don't immediately lose when yeah, we yeah. lose this. Yeah, right, Tiger killed one of my grunts. Um, let's see. Guess I'll go ahead and do into the fray. So that's um. I'll use energy and the eye to do three. So that's, um, I'll go ahead and kill your grunt and then reduce uh, threat by four. That seems Is any good. extra damage Wait, left does over? Does it have to go there or could we do it to here? Well, I the guess main we don't scheme. care about this. It has to be the main scheme. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Milano's three more off. I know you said I didn't have to worry about it, but it didn't really cost me much there. No, 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 I think that's good. Uh, if you need Quinn or Helicarrier, by the way, I have it for you. Um, I don't think I will. Well, you want to play Ironheart for sure, because that's just a chumper. Oh, you want to kill one of these guys first. Um, well, Wasp, I want to have attack him. So go ahead and do three damage him, and Wasp is dead. Yep. And now you can put in Ironheart easy, which is a chump blocker for you. Yes. Okay, I'll do that. So, all right, I'll put in Ironheart, discarding Nick. If you don't want to get no, rid of that, I, let me know. I can use Helicarrier. Nah, that's fine for now. Let's see what I draw. Um, all right, I don't really... Oh, I guess I do still have a guy on me. I can um, get rid of that guy, maybe. Sure, I can get rid of it, I'm sure. Oh, Ant-Man oh. will come in. So, yeah, I got something to get rid of it. Okay, um, well, then I'm going to have Wong heal me. Um... I'm going to go ahead and tap to uh, and discard Relentless Assault to use images of Icon. So he is uh, confused and for threat from the main scheme. So are you going to flip then? Uh, in a second, I'm going to, yeah. Unless you want to. I mean, you're more hurt than me. Well, I'll use Cloak of Levitation to untap. I do have a um, magic shield. And then we have plenty of chumpers, right? Like oh, Jesus. I guess I'll... Tap to get Winds of Watum, and uh, so I just shuffle. I assume I just. Yeah, what was Winds of Watum do? I get to draw three cards. So I guess I'm not done, sorry. Wait, could you exhaust yourself? Wait, how did ooh, that. Ooh, ooh, wait, dude. Uh, use uh, <laughs> use uh, Helicarrier on me, please. 
Yep. Oh, no, no. I don't even, oh, yeah, I do need that. I do need it. Can you please use it on me? Yeah. Done. All right, cool. I'm playing Dive Bomb. Strength is two. Protective Ward is three. Helicarrier is four. So I do seven damage to the boss, and I finish off uh, my Badoon Engineer. Sweet. Seems pretty good, right? Yeah. And by the way... Dive Bomb, baby! By the way, we're playing Expert. So I know you said you don't like some of this stuff, but there's some pretty freaking cool stuff you do in this game which <laughs> by the way uh Irvani thinks that hawkeye happens before like the other effects so maybe we weren't cheating there okay well i mean I don't i'll have iron not cheating. Hard, uh, i'll have iron hard hit the boss for one more because we got the scheme under control pretty well um and then i am going to flip this time and i'm gonna get uh my treachery canceling card in play again or i mean into my deck again Oh, wait, that means I have to draw a card. Well, let's see what I draw, I guess. Um, anyway, go and do your stuff, Peter. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Okay. Unfortunately, Ant-Man can't be reduced cost. So team building exercise, which reduces the cost, and Avengers Tower, which reduces cost, doesn't help. But Ant-Man, you can play as many resources as you want, and that's how much life he has. So he's similar to Wasp, but he can use any resource. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, but it's still... By the way, does anybody in the chat, because <laughs> every time you've heard said this, I've thought about it. Uh, Peter, you know Flight of the Concords, right? Of course. Yeah, so uh, in the song Business Time, um, where he's like it's awkwardly... Business. Saying, oh, he's... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, at one point, he... Uh... <laughs> I, I forget what it is. He... Oh, it, he's talking about how hot his wife looks because she's wearing a shirt from her work. And he says, team building exercise not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which... Every time you're saying that card's name, I'm thinking of that song. <laughs> By the way, I'm a big idiot. I forgot I have team training. All my guys have one extra life. When all your guys also have plus one attack. Yes. So so I think I'm just going to attack. Just wail on it. Dude. We're looking everybody good. As as you... Because I can't yeah, I mean... believe I did not realize that. I have Avengers Assemble 2, so I could actually... Hold on. Can I kill him? So that's three... Four, five, nice. well, four. Wasteland Sniper is with us for Flight of the Concords and also says uh, they love Dive Bomb. And yes, I, I'm very happy with that card. <laughs> now Three, that I've seen four, it. five. Five and eight. That's not enough to kill him. Oh, no. Not even close. I mean... And that I would kill not about all of my really allies because well, Avengers Assemble is pretty darn good, but... Oh! Plus, if I got Ant-Man out... Well... Wait, we kill, all of them will have one life left because of your thing. No, I'm saying, but Avengers Assemble readies them all and gives them all plus one attack and thwart also. So I could attack uh, a second time with them. Well, then just flip to your other side. We can survive him. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do well. that, though. Here, here's what okay. I'm going to do. I'm going to spend two resources. Oh, I kind of need Magic Shield. Well, whatever. Not going to do it. Two resources for Ant-Man. Wait, that doesn't leave me with enough resources either. Yeah, so I'll probably do... Uh, so he only gets two counters on him. Well, don't forget, I, I've got at least one chump blocker. So if so you kill all your guys, I can still block for us. Well, but don't forget, a lot block. of my cards, like, like all for one, do three damage, and every Avenger I exhaust does one extra damage. So that would be seven damage for just exhausting seems, my dudes and not... Seems pretty good. Yeah, but I'm going to have Ant-Man attack this time. But I'm going to get rid of all for one because I have more of them to put Magic Shield in because I feel like blocking three damage. Oh, it's three damage, not two. Michael's saying it would be 19 damage by uh, his calculations. Oh, because of boot camp. Oh, man. Holy yeah, cow. Dude. Wow. So, yes. So, that'd be four, yeah, so five, definitely six, do it. seven, eight. Well, I'm, I'm just going to hold on to it and do it next turn, right? Oh, I just discarded all for one to put in Magic Shield. But I, I feel like I need it. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. All right. I mean, I think we'll be able to kill him in the next turn or two regardless, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, no, no. I think we're good. But 19 damage... I haven't, no, none of his guys have, like, guard or whatever it's called, right? Where, like, the, you have to kill them first. Wait, how is Scarlet Witch readied? I definitely blocked last turn. I, I think I accidentally hit ready. Oh, okay. At some point. There's no way I didn't. All right, but all these can attack still. Oh, I don't have a card to discard for Wonder Man. But that's still 2-4 damage. By the way, Wasteland Sniper, I'm particularly partial to the uh, Bowie's in Space episode where uh, Jermaine gets to do so many different 
David Bowie <laughs> impersonations. By the way, this is going to be a real bad turn for me because I'm going to have three event cards. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, just, just... Do we lose if you die or can I win? No, you can not still win. Not, well, not no, that I think we I would, but... can still win, by the way. <laughs> uh, all right. All right so I'm readying up. Or should I have taken two threat off the scheme? Did I attack for one? No, no, no. I said I had already used my thing. Yeah, I got another dive bomb. That should be helpful. I mean, it's not bad. I might need it with all the crap that's about to be in front of me. I have plenty of attack stuff, by the way. We should definitely be able to kill him. We just need to... We need me to survive this turn with my one health. All right. So, um... So that goes up by one. Threat goes up by six, right? By the way, I got an Avengers Mansion, which is excellent at this point of the game. Uh, <laughs> it lets me exhaust to draw a card, and I have to pay four resources for it. Really what I was hoping for. At this. Uh, Peter, he did nothing to me, so he's attacking you now. Oh, did you add four threat to the scheme? Did you add one to I this? Added, I added six threat, and I did add one to that. Oh, six. You're right. Yeah, for these two cards. All right. Um, so I'm ready to everything. So he is attacking me now, right? I feel like I got to block with Hawkeye, right? Well, I can block with... No, dude, you keep all your guys because you have bonuses. I'm blocking with Ironheart. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yep. All right, so boosted. And if this action is a scheme, nope, it doesn't really matter. Bye -bye. Nice. Good job, Ironheart. I mean, Ironheart... Oh, I was supposed to draw a card here. That's what's going on. Hey, okay. hey, Peter, real quick, go. How many? Uh... <laughs> How many heart movies can you think of? Heart movies? Yeah, I'm thinking Dragonheart. Remember that one with Sean Brave Connery Heart? as the dragon? Yeah. Uh, ooh, Lionheart with John claude Van Damme. Yep. Uh, Love and Other Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that is not a heart movie. Uh, uh, Lionheart, Braveheart, be... and what was the one you said? I said uh, Dragonheart. Dragonheart, yeah. That was the one I was trying to think of. So I, I will stop trying to think of it. All right, in the chat, give us some heart movies, everybody. <laughs> Why did you come up with heart movies? I don't know. Where did it, what did it... By the way, Wasteland Sniper basically said I'm an idiot. It was the perfect time to play that card, but I didn't. So, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's fine. It's fine. We, we, we got we got to have heart, like they sing in uh, Damn Yankees. Because you got to have a heart, heart, heart. No! <laughs> Where's my cancel? God, God. I'll destroy everything. Oh, I have to cancel, but guess what I don't have? My brother, um, who I need to cancel events. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, discard a card. Place threat on the main scheme equal. Okay, so I discard my highest card, which is dive. I hate you. I hate everyone. <laughs> God damn it. All right, whatever. So We're four fine. more threat. Yep. It's all fine. I have modular decay, I which... Or molecular decay, which should do some damage. All right, so you're done, right? Yeah. So now I got lots of... Oh, here's your dude. Which I'm just going to leave in front of me. Oh, you got to be effing kidding me. What does that do? <laughs> Shadows of the Past? <laughs> it's like the worst card ever. Oh, he's not going to do anything, right? So it's okay. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I don't know who my nemesis if is. We, if we, we just got to win real quick. Force response. After he activates against you, yeah... Hopefully, it's never uh, gonna happen. What's never gonna, gonna happen. Gonna do? Baby. Increase the number of boost icons on each encounter card by one. This is great. Yeah, that helps us. That it's helps gonna us. help us with molecular decay for Darcher. Holy yeah, moly! Dude. All right, we did this turn. <laughs> I mean, we. I mean, we are or we're losing. <laughs> like, there's no flip, flip that one. There's no middle ground here. Uh, we are either literally winning or losing right here. Uh I mean, we added right. more cards to the to the deck. I feel like that's a good thing, right? Oh, here's an assassin. After he engages your hero, he attacks with plus two. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I am going to discard my magic I'll, field. I'll block with uh, no, no, no. I'll block with one. No, no, no. We're taking every amount oh, of damage. Shield. Magic shield. When a friendly yep, character yep, would take any right. amount of damage, discard it and prevent three. Boom. Do it, dude. Take the lead. Use Milano for damage. Let's go. We <laughs> Milano cannot do damage, but he can pay for cards. Because if we're not, well, that's what I mean. Like, if we're not worried for about threat. All right. So are all these guys on their last leg? Um, do I have uh, anything? Uh, well, that Wonder would... Man, if you have two cards, can attack twice. Stinger can attack once. Hawkeye once. Ant Man. All right. Well, we're twice. clearly attacking with all my stuff because I have no cards that 
that do anything. All right, so that's three damage. Four or five damage. Six, seven damage. And I'll discard a card. Ten to damage. Make it ten damage. So that's ten. Nice, he's down to eight. That's ten. Oh, we got this, baby. That's ten without even thinking. Um. So this one goes away. Didn't I lose somebody else here? You lost uh, Hawkeye. That should be it. Oh, Stinger. Here it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. So now I'm going to do, I think, Molecular Decay, not Hexbolt. Uh, it's an attack spell. Oh, you think? Give me a break, dude. Of course it's Molecular Decay. Give me a break. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, a three. Molecular dude, Decay. You should be dead unless you draw the worst. So it's five plus two boosts. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to use my uh, Scarlet Witch power to yep. ignore that. So that's two icons because of the extra boost. So that's five, seven. six, seven damage plus... Eight. Eight, nine, because I'm going to use my Scarlet Witch ability here. He's already dead, dude. <laughs> no. And then I'm going to attack. And I'm going to keep going. So boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way -oh. All right, so that is Expert Drang, who is the easiest villain in Galaxy's Most Wanted, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty challenging. <laughs> uh, and, and with, by the way, the best hero in the game, <laughs> uh, which is uh, Doctor Strange by most people's account, and Scarlet Witch is pretty high tier as well, and I used Leadership, which is also considered pretty, uh, pretty epic. So let's go oh, to- fine. That was fun. Let's go to the campaign book and see what happens. Uh, the Collector's ship orbiting an alien world. The Badoon were sent to Earth by the Collector to capture the Reality Stone. He wants to collect all the Infinity Stones and he really has a... I'm sorry, not really. He already has the Power Stone. That what? wacko has an Infinity Stone? We're approaching a ship in stealth mode now. Okay, team, here's the plan. We get the stone and get out before anybody even knows we were here. I am Groot. Right, new plan. Fight our way in. Aha, uh -huh, yes! That was my Drax impression. Nice. So, we are uh, going after Drax with the Infinity Stone. So, we did not play with uh, Badoon in there. Um, so, there's a Badoon Headhunter that would have been added. Uh, if you look, he would be this one here. If you'll notice in the campaign, he is worth two victory points potentially. If we defeat him, he goes into a victory pile, so does not come back in. Um, so seven life. He's villainous, which means when he schemes or attacks, he also boosts. Oh, wow. So that's what villainous is. Um, and we also would have had a scheme in there. So we would have had fugitives recovery. So we would have had... Wait, is that the right one? That doesn't seem right. No, no, no. Ah, campaign ones. So we would have had Badoon Blitz here if we were playing a regular campaign which would have had two threat on it plus hinder three. Hinder means three per player. So we would have had uh, eight threat on this scheme. It's worth a victory point also. Uh, and when defeated, each player may draw a card. So, huh. so there's no negative effects to this. It's just a side scheme that would help us. Now on the expert campaign, yeah, it, it has an acceleration and it's hinder four. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it, ridiculously hard to get rid of and gives an acceleration right from turn one. Um, that's why nobody plays expert campaign because it's ridiculous. So if we had <laughs> killed both the Badoon Hunter and finished that scheme, and there's other stuff in here, right? It tells you how you get victory points for doing certain things. Then we get points, Mike, just so you know how campaign works, to buy these cards. So these are oh, one cost cards, two cost cards, three cost cards, four cost, five. I just want to look at seven costs and how good it is. Seven aren't as good. Six are the six are the best. I really feel like. Um, like look at this one. Hero exactly. action. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you just oh get my to gosh. do damage every turn. It costs one. You got to put it in. <laughs> and, and this one, same thing, except it's removing threat. Oh no, targeting screen's the one. I'm sorry. Remove two threat from a scheme, three instead if you control That's Milano. And again, amazing. Yeah, so these are just free stuff you get. I mean, yeah, so the six card is kind of where it's at, I feel like. They, the four costs are kind of the weaker version of those cards. So, like, Heavy Cannon is exhausted to deal one damage. Now, don't forget, you can get both, right? Like, you right. could get, like, if you get enough victory points, 
Um, so that's the reasons to kill like Badoon Headhunter and stuff like that. Now, every time you kill Badoon Headhunter, so Badoon Headhunter would have been added to the deck, right? If we right. defeat Badoon Headhunter, the next mission, we not only get Badoon Headhunter, but we also get this card. And then if we defeat him again, then we get this card for the next mission. And then this card, which is ridiculous. Look at this. Eight health, yeah, saw like two attacks surge for no reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, so if you kill him all four missions, you get all five of these added to the deck for wow. the last mission. Um, so the one thing I like about it is when you think about it, Badoon Headhunter is worth two victory points, right? So he gets you two toward getting some of these better cards. But... Every time you kill him, you're adding worse cards to your deck. Right. Um, so it kind of balances that way. Um, where, and then these obviously accelerate as well. So the first one is this. Look at this. Uh, Expert Cree. Uh, it adds one of all those symbols. Oh, my gosh. And it, Wait, is that plus one to like every boost icon? Uh, yep. Which is great. What the heck? Which is great if you are um, uh, Scarlet Witch. <laughs> she likes that. Uh, but yes, and look at this. It's seven threat plus four per player. So it starts with 13 threat on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, for, for a two player, I'm sorry, 15 threat for a two player game. <laughs> wow. Uh, and that's in addition to all the other cards. Now that is expert. Again, I don't know anybody who's really playing expert campaign. We usually play standard campaign with expert villains, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I like that you can kind of, like, modify it that way. That's cool. Yeah, or you could play expert campaign with standard villains, you know? So so you can do it either way. Um, but, yeah, no, it's no joke. Uh, so we read the end of the campaign, right? Uh, what, yep, what happens next? So we'd go after Collector next. Collector's interesting. Uh, let's see, there's no way to clear this, is there? Oh, next mission? Oh, there we go. So there's a way to clear it. Uh, so the way the collector works, and I'll do standard this time, even though we're not playing it, uh, is grand collection, right? So set up, create the collection game area, so which is over here or in this, they have it as a box. Um, put the top card of each player's deck face up in the collection, right? So you just automatically put something in the collection. The way it works is it's 10 threat per player to get rid of the collection, so 20 threat, and there is no second stage, this is it. If you get to 20, you lose. Uh, it starts with four, four per player, which is fun. So it starts with eight. Uh, and if at least five per player cards are in the collection, players lose. So it starts with two, right? One from each of us. And if we ever get to 10 cards in there, we lose. So how do cards get to the collection? Every time a card would be discarded from play. So think of all the times we chump blocked, that card goes in there. Think about every now. Discard from play does not mean an event, or does mean events. No, but if you get rid of a side scheme, that goes in there. If you get rid right, of a minion right. who is attacking you, that goes in there. Everything gets added to the collection, right? If he ever gets to ten, you lose. If he ever gets to twenty threat, you lose. So how do you get rid of cards from the collection? Obviously, you need. Hey, to do uh, that. Peter, real quick. Uh, Michael Barnes said uh, they managed to beat expert campaign with Doctor Strange Justice and Captain America Justice. And he said there was 43 threats on the board when they started the expert campaign against Ronan. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Because Ronan has ridiculous amount of side schemes. It is crazy. And then plus that for expert campaign. I mean, it's it's stupid. Um, yeah. So Ronan is no joke. Like, this whole campaign is no joke. I mean, expert campaign. I mean, you think about it. I would say Strange and Captain America are probably the two best heroes in the game. And was one of them leadership or no? Strange Justice and America Justice. Interesting. Um, so can remove a lot of threat, which is probably good because that's the hardest part is all these side schemes that come into play. Um, yeah, so the, the thing I like about this is every mission is different, right? So this one, you can... Uh, either choose to exhaust your hero or spend any two resources from your hand to remove a card from the collection. So if it was here and it was mine, it would go back in my discard pile. Right? So that's nice. how you can keep by, the By the way, uh, M Michael Barnes, you're not like the Michael Barnes, are you? I'm sure there's lots of Michael Barnes in the world. Oh. Sorry, did I cut out? <laughs> nope, you're good. No, Wasteland Sniper said, holy cow, that's a lot of threat. 
So, by the way, this is one of the things I love about live streaming. I love all the interaction that happens. I know you've you've been part of our Gloomhaven and you don't see that as much, Mike. But uh, all our Marvel Champions plays get a lot of interaction and uh, a lot of comments. So, that that's one thing I love about doing these live streams. Uh, we could certainly, you know, just record these and put them up there. But uh, your interaction and your, uh, your enthusiasm about the game is what keeps us coming back for sure. So you see yeah, how definitely. Collector is already different, right? And then... Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, very different. And then you go to Collector 2. So after you beat Collector, you get the Infinity... Or you don't get the Infinity Stone. Like, somebody gets the Infinity Stone, turns out it's Nebula. You'll find out in Mission 4. But now it works like a, a, a Lord of the Rings mission. Uh, so it's uh, when the last one oh, is removed you from advance. the stage. Interesting, you interesting. So, but attacks don't do any damage. She has no life total. They just remove threat from the scheme. Huh. So whether you thwart or attack, you're removing threat from the scheme. Oh, oh, no, no, that's not how it works. He does have life. I'm sorry. But when he's defeated, you flip him over, and he has zero oh, attack, zero scheme. And uh, he uh, force interrupt when he flips this card. The collector's hit point dial to its printed hit points. So I'm sorry. So he would have uh, eight hit points per player, so 16. But when you defeat him, you remove three threat per player, and he becomes a zero zero. And just so it doesn't do anything, right? And here he's one one, but he also gets plus attack and scheme where X is equal to the main scheme's current stage number. So stage one, it's one. Stage two, it's two, etc. So here he does still boost, right? He attacks for zero, schemes for zero. He still boosts, so he doesn't do nothing. But um, not nearly as bad as this side, which is at least two. And as you go further in, it, it gets worse. That's very cool. Uh, Wasteland Sniper says, I can't wait for you to try Drax. He's so fun. I was very disappointed to hear that Drax does not have an invisibility card in his deck. I think it's a missed opportunity. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore. So that's from uh, not in uh, not Infinity Wars, Endgame, right? Or is that from Guardians of the Galaxy 2? That, that, uh... Oh, the line where he's like saying that he can be invisible? Yes. And he's like so quiet. Uh, gosh, I think it's... I think it is Guardians 2, actually. I think it's Guardians 2, but it's been a while since Yeah, I saw he's that standing one. there. He's like, I move so slowly that nobody can see me. <laughs> and then Mantis like comes in. A, she's like... He's eating chips or something. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah. Oh, hi, Drax. <laughs> she's like, hi, Drax. Yeah, it was hilarious. Um, so uh, a... tomorrow, actually, I am playing Drax. So if you guys don't know the way I do it, I do my first play for a deck live with you guys i did go out and buy it from the store today but i haven't looked through any cards haven't spoiled myself in any way so tomorrow i'm coming in and i'm taking up drax and i always play standard right because i'm playing the base decks which aren't as good as the decks you can make obviously so who do you think i'm going against with drax mike you know the lore uh, I would assume Ronan, right? I am going against Ronan, who is by far the hardest build. So I assume... Ronan is super hard, isn't he? I assume <laughs> I'm going to get my butt wiped, because I don't know anything about any of the cards either. I am literally going in with no knowledge of anything about what's in his deck, um, and just going in, because I like to experience it live and, and you know, share the enthusiasm I have live um, for his deck. Well, Mike, so Michael says Drax is amazing and is what Hulk should have been, so that sounds like a pretty good... Uh pretty good start well it sounds like a good start except hulk is garbage so. why do hulk is garbage but <laughs> so let's Drax let's awesome. let's look at heart hulk for you so you can see why hulk is garbage mike uh so oh, I, I signed out yes oh so well, you can uh, to the stream. experimental research is his banner action he does get five cards not six on his alter ego side by the way uh so as an action though he can draw a card choose and discard a card from your hand uh so you're still going to have five, <laughs> but you do get to at least cycle a card. So, but here's the terrible part about Hulk. Raged, force interrupt. When your turn ends, discard your hand. So no holding on cards from turn to turn. And he has a hand size of four. Yeah, it's rough. Does he have a way to gain plus one hand size like Thor does? Uh, I mean, only, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Avengers Mansion. And by the way, Avengers, Avengers Mansion costs four. So he can't even pay for it unless he gets a double resource. Um, yeah. Interesting. So people think Hulk is the worst 
hero in the game and i don't know that i would disagree with it you would think he'd have excellent cards to counterbalance that but not really um <laughs> trying to see he's got crushing blow you can uh for one you can only spend fist resources to pay for it deal damage to the enemy equal to your attack so for one you do three which is not great <laughs> Uh, I mean, you can boost your attack. Hulk Smash, it costs three, so you can pay for it with your four cards. Uh, when you make a basic attack, get plus 10 attack for the attack. If you paid for it using only fist resources, the attack gains overkill. So that's pretty good. And you do have two of those. So that's two 13-point attacks, which is not terrible. Uh, he does have a thwart here, which also costs three. Again, his whole hand for the turn. Remove three threat from a scheme. Five instead if you paid for it using only fist. So it seems like you want only fists in his deck, uh, obviously. Right. And all of his cards are actually only fists. So that's good. At least they don't job him that way and make him like a <laughs> mental resource. Uh, Thunderclap. Choose up to three different enemies and deal three damage to each of them. So, I mean, he doesn't have terrible cards. But again, it's all of his turn to do that. Right? Right. Uh, now, he does have 18 life and three defense, which is good. But you're going to use that three defense a lot. So you're not really going to get to use your attack a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, most of his cards use his whole hand. Now, they are all fists, which I never noticed before. So that's kind of neat. Uh, ready, Hulk? Hi, man. All right. So anyway, so yeah, thanks for coming in and playing uh, Marvel Champions, filling in for Terrence on this Friday night. Yeah, it was it was fun. I, I enjoyed myself. Uh, so one last comment. Uh, Steve beat the game, says they're, uh, they're the only one i can't wait to see who has the mental triple oh he, he's responding to uh hulk has triple and michael said uh marvel has triples so oh triple resource and then michael's cards. guessing yeah it would make sense for xavier or reed richards to be triples i can see that yeah for limited uh, strength mental or limitless strength does have three and he has two of those so there's that uh, Banner's Laboratory is a mental resource just to job you. Why not? Uh, but yeah, every <laughs> other one of his cards is fists. So I, I did not realize that. I had never really paid attention enough because I'd never play him. So we don't go high end with Strange. We don't go low end with Hulk. Uh, at least I don't. I am not good enough to uh, to pull that off. Um, all right. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, I still love this game. Sorry, Mike, for uh, subjecting you to uh, a harder encounter than I promised. But we ended up beating it, right? So it all worked out. Yeah, it, it, worked, it worked out well. It was exciting in the end, so I didn't mind it. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Mike. And thanks for everybody else for joining us. Join me tomorrow. I think at 3 o'clock is my current plan. It really depends what happens with my family. So forgive me if it isn't at 3 o'clock. But I am going to unbox and play Drax for the first time live for you guys and give you my impressions of them. So come back tomorrow at 3 for that. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.